guys, it's Rachel, and today I am back in my basic Stology, and we are going to plan it the week ahead. Now, I'm one day late with this. I should have filmed this yesterday, um, but I'll just tell you the truth. I won't make excuses. I came home from school, and I had a nap because the night before, I woke up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and I just could not get back to sleep. The last time I looked at my, um, my watch, I think it was about quarter to 5, and we get up at half 6, so I was exhausted. I set the table up. I always set the table up before I go and do school run. And it just sat there all day. I didn't even film. But I am all right today. I caught up on my sleep. So, last week, we need to do a bit of a catch-up in here as well, looks like. Oh, no, I'm up to date. I'm up to date. I'm talking rubbish. So, yeah, that's how last week turned out. This was a kit from... It was Rose Lily Plans, but the shop has now changed. Let's zoom in, Ithma Jaruni. Yeah, the shop's now changed to something else. Nova Bell or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, I did like them stickers. I'm not sure what the new stock stickers like. But anyway, nonetheless, we're going to move on. I've drawn my lines down. We're sticking with the same layout. I know when I started this book, I was doing all sorts of different layouts on different days. And we were just seeing what works. And I think I just found my favourite. It ended up being that. But anyway, today I am going to use this beautiful kit from Fab Planner Prints. This is the Honey Bee Happy Kit. I actually have that in a die cut as well, which I've used in my setups before. It's absolutely beautiful. I think this is one of my favourite artworks from all of the shops um the ipr for i just love it there's just something about it i think i've bought this kit and used it in various different sizes probably five or six times and i'll probably use it again and again and again so yeah if you go through my um my channel there's probably a plan with me in a different size planner with this kit last year i would imagine i think i was in rings anyway we've got the eight full boxes and some checklists so this is a full kit we have got some deco and some washi we've got your checklist boxes We've got some functionals and some headers, uh, some date dots, which I absolutely love. I think they are gorgeous. And then we have got some little things headers and a few page flags, a weekend banner, more functionals and a couple of trackers. So I'm going to have more than enough uh, to do my week in here. It's one of those days where it's really warm, but it's really dull. And I'm looking at the viewfinder. I just filmed a little bit of a haul and I think I'm gonna have to refilm it because it was super dark. And I'm not the best at editing uh, that type of thing uh, to make it any better. But anyway, now then, are we gonna cut this washi? Let's cut this washi. Let's get my paper trimmer, trimmer and cut that washi up. Right, I am back and my washi is trimmed and I found my scissors. I have to keep telling Chris off. He keeps borrowing my craft scissors uh, for his gardening business and I keep telling him off. He is the worst at borrowing my stuff and just not putting it back. But then not only that, I'll say to him like, oh, where am I? Like my tweezers, he borrows my tweezers all the time but I've not had them. But you have, because if I'd had them, they'd be away. And he'll be like, oh yeah, of course you wouldn't have lost them. I'm like, well, no, because I know where they live. It's super frustrating. So I just found my craft scissors on the top of his gardening uh, like bookcase thing. But it won't have been him. No, it will have been me. I will have used them uh, like now. And instead of putting them in my pencil case, which is right here, no, I, no, no, I wouldn't have done that. I would have chosen to walk into a different room and put them onto a top shelf of a bookcase that I never use. Tell me that's not boy logic. But anyway, how are you guys? I hope you're all well. Doesn't it feel like life has got back to normal and I absolutely love it. I feel, do you know what I had? And I didn't realise it was a thing, right? Um, I had like reopening anxiety, I think people were calling it. Now I'm not saying in any like massive stretch. I wasn't like struggling to get out of the house or anything like that. But I was kind of scared about things getting busy again and, and ending up um just queuing up in places and I don't know like it's it it felt like I'd got used to being in and places being quiet and there being rules and I know there's still rules and stuff um but yeah I kind of got used to it now and I feel a bit like life has got a bit more normal and it's like it sort of never really happened you know I know we're all still wearing masks and things and and that type of jazz but I am glad to get back to a bit more normality but anyway that's how I feel about things right now. But yeah, I am using the This Week um, script that I picked up from Little Bloom Papery. I picked them up in a two for Tuesday along with quite a few. They are gold foil and I think that this kit is absolutely screaming for gold foil. I don't think there would be any other uh, foil that would go with this. So let's change things up a bit and start with a deco box on my sidebar. But which one? I think this one is my favourite. So let's go with this one. 
I just love everything about this kit. The colours, the graphics, it's just beautiful. So yeah, I'm a week, no I'm not a week late, I am a day late to, um, to put this down and there is a reason why. Now I wasn't sure if I was going to tell you this and before I do tell you this, I'm still not sure if I want to tell you this, um, I'm not looking for loads of sympathy, I am not looking for people to go and, and troll anybody or anything like that. Um, but the reason why I put off this video, and you'll have noticed that like today's Tuesday and I would normally put a video up yesterday, in fact I would normally put a video up on Sunday, but felt a little bit rubbish. Basically, I feel a bit ridiculous since I got a comment on one of my other videos and it's the first proper nasty comment that I've had. Now, we all know about the Lady Are You Drunk comment and that was amazing, that made me giggle. I loved that comment. The comment on one of my videos where I did a What's In My Bag said, uh, Lady Are You Drunk, you're talking so fast and laughing at yourself. Full stop, weird, and I love that, I think it's amazing. I've actually got it uh, printed out upstairs because every now and again, I just walk past it and laugh. I think that's funny. However, last week on one of my videos, I got a comment um, that I just thought was unnecessarily nasty. Now, I don't need everybody to like me, and I've always felt in life, generally, that I'm an acquired taste. I'm quite annoying. I think if I wasn't me, I would annoy myself. I take too long to tell stories. I say, um, quite a lot. Um, Chris said, um, Chris says that, um, you know, like, get to the point sometimes. I just go off. You know what I'm like. But I presume that if you're here watching, if you didn't like me, you wouldn't talk to yourself and carry on. And you don't have to like me. I don't need everybody to like me. But on one of my comments last week, it said... Um, something along the lines of, I actually had it screenshotted to my phone and then I thought, why am I torturing myself keeping it? Um, so I did delete it, but it said something along the lines of, your personality is grinding, uh, some of the things you say make you sound like a selfish prat and that's a shame because I really like your layouts. And I was like, oh, that stung a bit. That stung a bit. So I deleted the comment because A, not because I was hiding it, not because I didn't want anybody to know it was there, because I didn't want anybody else to snap back. Um, because I know that there's some very beautiful, lovely people in this group that would absolutely defend me. And I didn't want that. I didn't want whoever it was that had written it to, um, to get nasty comments. Because it's just not right, is it? Two wrongs don't make a right <laughs> to be a cliche. Um, but yeah, I can't, it kind of hurt. If you don't like me, that's fine. And... I don't need everybody to like me and if you think that my personality is grinding that's fine I don't know why you would feel the need to tell me that it just seems a bit harsh I would never there are people on YouTube I don't mean planners I mean just generally on YouTube I watch beauty videos I watch some um, some silly videos with my daughter sometimes because she she finds those fun I watch gaming videos with my son because he finds those fun and so my YouTube has ended up being just a whole load of recommendations of all sorts of, of different types of thing and I don't like everybody but I would never dream of leaving a comment to let them know that what what's the point of it what do you get out of it I don't understand does it make you feel better for writing that nasty comment I don't get it like even in life celebrities that I don't like it on on Instagram or I don't even know people in groups that I'm in there are people in groups that I'm in that I don't particularly gel with because you can't like everybody it would be weird if you liked everybody and, and anybody that says that they like everybody is, is absolutely lying you don't like everybody it's not possible personalities are different but I just thought you know you've taken the time out of your day and I am a very very small youtuber as well so you know that I will see that comment and I do actively try and talk about some of the comments in my videos if I've not had the chance to reply or I do reply to the comments. So you see me down there, you know I'm going to see it. And I just thought, oh, that was a bit weird. And I have said before, you know, I do suffer with the fact that I don't particularly like myself. Um, that's something that I struggle with. So yeah, I just felt like it was a bit of a shit thing to do. Whoever it is that's done it won't see this unless they've made another account to watch me and I can't I can't understand why you would have done that if you have done that to come and see this video. If my personality is that grinding then please don't watch me. Don't torture yourself like that. But yeah, no, I'm not looking for, I don't want you all to, to be in the comments saying oh it's not true blah 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 blah. I'm, I'm not looking for sympathy, you know, I'm not the only person to get a bad comment. And also some of you might be thinking oh shut up, like you are on YouTube, what do you expect? Absolutely. If you put yourself out in a public forum like this, then you should expect 
things like that because there are people in their sad petty little lives that can only find enjoyment from trying to drag other people down <sighs> but anyway yes <clears throat> I am fine I did struggle with it for a couple of days I had a chat with um, Joanne from Josephine Bow Designs and Beth from Beth Plans and lovely a flash in the plan who um, who I'm friends with as well they're all so lovely and said to me don't you dare listen to that don't you dare and I get it you know I get it like I should just brush it off and I have now I have now but at first I was like wow that stung a bit jeez because I am a sensitive little soul you know anyway no I'm fine I'm fine and if you don't like me that's fine but don't don't do that and if you don't like anybody, don't do that on anybody's videos. It's just, you know what, it's a person. It's a person at the end of the day. It's a person behind the camera. If you don't like them, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to. And also, the selfish prat part, I was thinking, well, what on earth did I say? I watched the video back and I couldn't figure out what it was that I said. If I sound like I'm a selfish prat sometimes, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. The only thing that I could think of is sometimes in my videos, um, I have to tell you if I've been sent something and gifted it. Um, because it's the ASA influencer or creator rules, you have to declare it. I cannot come on here and go, hey, look at these stickers, they're amazing, I love them, oh my god, they're the best ever. If I've been sent them for free, because that's deceiving, and I could only be telling you that because I got them for free, or I'm being paid to say it, or blah, blah, blah. So if I say, oh, look at these stickers, like these stickers, for instance, you will know that I'm in the Fab Planner Print PR team, it says so down below in my description. I have to be transparent about it. So all I can think is that I've said, and I've been very kindly gifted these stickers, and whoever it is has thought, stop going on about stuff you've been given. But that's not why I say that, but anyway. But enough, enough about that. Let's let that go. I'm fine and it's fine. But you know, if you're watching YouTube or you're on social media and you find somebody that you don't like, just go off the page. Just, just don't. Just don't send a nasty message. It's unnecessary. It, 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 I don't often swear, swear on this channel, but you know what? It's a dick move. It is. It really is. So yeah, don't do it. <laughs> But anyway, I'm fine by the way, I'm absolutely fine. I don't know how this is going to go down that I've talked about this. Maybe I'm going to get a barrage of comments comments in the comments below going, well, do you know what, your personality is grinding. That's fine, that's fine, okay. Gotcha. I've got it loud and clear. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's get on. But how are you guys? I hope you're okay. I hope you guys are all okay. So I have been chattering about that and I put down all of my full boxes. I love it so much. Let's get back to the sidebar then. So, do we have any trackers? We do. We have two here. We'll do one for medication and we will do one for skincare. Still loving tracking my skincare. Um, and I definitely think it's made a difference. I want to put that little tick in my planner so I have been better. I have been better at doing it. I've had to switch my skincare up a little bit because I'm an oily girl. I think I've said this before. Um, and so the common misconception when you've got oily skin is people think that you should not use oils on your skin and that is not the case. There are oils out there that are good for people with oily skin. You can still use things. Hyaluronic acid uh, is quite good. What's my other one? Medication. Um, but anyway, it's been so, so warm and my face has been like a chip pan that I have not been great with my serum. I have... I've, ditched my serum at the moment I'm using a gel a hydrogel moisturizer and eye cream because it's getting to like midday and I'm looking like I stuck my face in like a bag of fried chips anyway I'm not really sure what the point of telling you that was but yeah oh dear I feel shaking can you see my hands shaking I feel nervous about saying that what I've just said because I feel like I've sort of just vulnerably put myself out there a bit but yeah. yeah I don't know what to say now I don't know what else to say let's put down a meal checker um and I did very naughtily have takeaway last night which was very naughty because I also had takeaway the night before but is anybody ordering from just eat at the moment they've got the spin to win um, promotion on there at the moment and so I, I ordered a takeaway a couple of weeks ago or whenever it first started and I did the spin to win and I won £10 and then on that takeaway I did the spin to win and I won £3 and then on that takeaway I did the spin to win and I won £10 again on Sunday which is why we had a takeaway last night but there's a spin to win email in my email 
account. I'm not doing it right now. I can't have takeaway again uh, for tea. That would just be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so yesterday then, let's go back to yesterday. So like I said, I was exhausted. And I am going to write that down. Because, uh, let's put nap time. Yeah, because like I said, I was supposed to film. What I do is I get Paige ready for school in the morning and then I usually have 10 or 15 minutes to spare before I have to leave. So I set up the back table with all the things that I need to uh, film a video. And then when I get in, I just get a coffee and come and sit down because it's all ready for me. But instead I didn't. I got in, threw my bag on the side, gave the dogs a cuddle, let them go out for the toilet and then I went upstairs. It was about 10 past nine and I woke up at one. I was so exhausted. And I don't even know what was on my mind. I just woke up. I think something woke me up. There must have been a noise or something that woke me up. And that's it. Once I'm awake in the night, it's over. It's game over. Um, so yeah, I tried to get to sleep, but I did that thing where you keep trying to get back to sleep and then you end up looking at your phone um, and pressing the button to see what time it is and then you're like, oh, I've only got an hour and a half before the alarm goes off. Oh, I've only got an hour before the alarm goes off and you keep yourself awake worrying about how much sleep you're not getting. It's just not great. So I knew as soon as I, I set the table up, being optimistic, but I thought, yeah, I mean, that's not happening. I'm just going back to bed when I get in. And that is exactly what happened. Oh, and I also want to mark down, let's just put that nap down, a uh, little, they're from Paper Shire. So I do want to mark bin day. And it was the grey, yes, it was the grey bin yesterday. And it was overdue, it was overflowing. So we'll just put grey bin like that. And I do have some really tiny bin stickers in here, I think. I think they might be from, oh, I can see them popping out. Little Thought Store, I think. Yes. And when they came, they were much smaller than I expected. And I thought, oh, no, I could do with these being bigger. But actually, I think um, they're going to be pretty perfect. I just pop that there like that. That's all right, isn't it? Right then, and then the next thing that I wanted to mark on there is that I have watched um, Clarkson's Farm on Amazon Prime. That was quite good. I'm not Jeremy Clarkson's biggest fan. I think over the span of his career, he said some absolute bullshit things. Um... Oh, I'm very sweary today, sorry. Um, he said some absolute rubbish. <clears throat> but yeah, Chris is Chris is a, a fan of his and he was like, will you watch this with me? And we didn't have anything else to watch. And actually, we binged it and it was really good. It was quite interesting as well because of the year that it was, because obviously it was from um, last year, so it was in the throes of COVID and a few things happened that highlighted what actual real farmers because I always have to say to Chris he always thinks that everything that he sees on a TV show like that is real you know everything going wrong and him doing stupid stuff and I'm like well this is his thing isn't it you know he's a, he just does whatever he wants he's a bit of a dope um, like he was supposed to order 20 trucks and he only ordered one and so most of it is for TV but actually this is things like some of his crops didn't grow because of the weather um, and things like that. And I think the farm only made half of the pro uh, half of the revenue that it made the year before. Apparently my camera thinks that my personality is grinding and it shut itself off. But uh, I think I've remembered what I was talking about. Uh, but yeah, it just highlights that um, that farmers just really do go through like some some grief don't they like you think oh crappy weather affects you because you don't want to go out in the in the rain but the crappy weather is like crop ruining for them so yeah anyway but it was a good watch it was a good watch if you can stomach Clarkson which I know not everybody can but if you can go and give it a watch it was quite good and there was um a farmhand that he had called Caleb who was a 21 year old lad and I said to Chris like there's nothing that this lad doesn't know about um farming he was really good Really, really good. I think he probably grew up on a farm or maybe he was living, um, being a farmhand on somebody else's. But yeah, it was really good. So give that a watch if you um, 
if you can stomach a bit of Clarkson. So I've just written down this video that I'm filming. I'm going to use this Happy Shaper papery um, camera and we'll mark that down. Now what else do I have going on today? Uh, Chris is at football so I do want to mark that down. He's going to play football tonight, just training it is. I told him, he doesn't watch these videos and if you're a long time watcher of these videos you'll remember me not being able to remember what his football team was. It's um, a veteran football team and I said it was a geriatric football team. <laughs> football team. And I told him that I told you all that he's on the geriatric football team. He's like, did you tell him you were joking? Because he's obviously only, it's his birthday tomorrow actually and he's only, um, how old is he tomorrow? Is he 33? 32, I think. So not quite a geriatric. But I do enjoy saying that he's on the geriatric football team. Especially when I know that it winds him up. Anyway, yeah, he's playing football tonight. I should have put that on the other side. Do I need? I'll put that there like that. Um, and then what else do I have? Nothing else to go under here. Oh, I need to reply to that party and I need to send an Amazon uh, parcel back. I bought my mum a bag from Amazon for her birthday and it's a cross body bag, which we both are a fan of. Um, and it's huge. It's humongous. It's more like a big like laptop messenger bag and it wasn't advertised as that. I can't imagine anybody carrying this giant bag around, so I'm going to send it back. Luckily, I had lots of time to go and get something else, so um, it didn't matter, apart from it being a slight annoyance that I have to return it. But I need to get that sorted. And then Paige has been invited to a birthday party, which I'm so excited about because, because of COVID and one thing and another, she's never been to a proper birthday party. This is going to be the first ever birthday party that she will have been to. And I'm super excited for her. She's just going to be so, so excited. It's at a trampoline place that is um, local to us. So, yeah, and it's really good. We've been before. Jensen has had birthday parties there and it's, and it's a really good party. So, yeah. Let's mark down that it's Chris's birthday tomorrow. I think we're going out for something to eat. Um, we're going to go during the day when the kids are at school, I think, instead of getting a babysitter. It just makes it a bit easier. Paige is a bit of a whinge and doesn't particularly like it when, when we go out anywhere without her. And then he is... Um, his, his friend at work has got a birthday on, is it Saturday? I think Saturday. So they're having a barbecue around there, like a joint birthday barbecue thing. I'm not going, it's not a, it's a girls uninvited thing, you know? Just silly drunk boys and I don't want my kids around that. I'm not invited anyway, but I wouldn't want my kids around that. Um, silly drunk boys being silly. So yeah, we'll pop that there. Leave the rest of that because I don't know what else we'll be doing. Thursday, what do I have going on on Thursday? Absolutely nothing. Friday, nothing. Saturday, Chris is out, so I'm going to write that down. Uh, how can I write it? Chris out to be a drunk idiot. No, I won't write that. <laughs> uh, Chris. Uh, I was going to put day out, but it makes it sound like he's going to a museum. Um, day drinking? Chris Chris out at barbecue, yeah? Chris out at barbecue. They're kind of doing a bit of an all day thing. They're going to go to a Witherspoons for a breakfast, have a couple of drinks, and then they're back to the friend's house for the barbecue, which is uh, what he's looking forward to. Do I have any barbecue stuff? Stickers. I did have a sheet here from Paper Show. What's on there? Uh, do I have anything else? These have all got girls on, so I can't put that on because obviously Chris is not a girl. Um, don't find the use for barbecue stickers very often. What about a hot dog? You get a hot dog on a barbecue, don't you? Um, I've got a frying pan. Nope. Should we do a burger? 
Any of these barbecues? Let's do a burger and a hot dog. And just layer them sort of together. I think both of these are from a Happy Sherpa papery sheet that does have fries on it as well. And then Sunday's Father's Day, isn't it? So we will mark that down. Um, I don't particularly do anything for Father's Day. I do obviously get Chris a present from the kids. Um, and if he wanted to do something, we would do it. But I lost my dad to cancer when I was 15. Um, so it's quite a painful day. I don't want to sit there going out for a meal, you know, choking back the tears. In case you hadn't guessed, I'm quite an emotional gal. <laughs> as much as I laugh it off, um, yeah, I'm quite an emotional person. Chris is fine with that, though. He, he completely understands. If he wanted to do something and go out for dinner, and Chris, it, Chris doesn't talk to his dad. He's not in contact with his dad. Um, so that's not an issue either that way around. Um, let's put this sticker on it. This is um, a Coffee Monsters Co. with like glasses on. This guy kind of looks like a dad, you know, a, a dad type fellow. So we'll pop that down on there. And then we've got the shop and scan. Oh, hang on. We've got the Formula One, haven't we? Let's do the shop and scan on a really small one. I did put down last week, if you watched my plan with me, I left a space for the Formula One, didn't I, if you remember? And it didn't end up being on, so I'd ended up just putting down a wax melt thing. It looks a bit daft, I moved it across so that I could put my Formula One sticker on, and these are not removable stickers. But they're just stickers, it doesn't matter, it's fine. So let's put that down, and let's figure out what the race is. I think it's France. So I do have my little Formula One little chakaroonie down here yeah we've got um france so where are my stickers i got messages last time loads of you messaged me to say no rich it's cancelled it's not canada it's meant to be canada it's cancelled and i really appreciated that thank you i did look online in the video and it said it was still there but it must have been an old post that I looked at. But I'm pretty sure that um, France is going because I follow Max Verstappen on social media. And I'm sure it was yesterday he put a post up that said race week. And I was like, ah. So that's what I will do from now on. I'll just follow what Max says because he should know what's going on, right? He should definitely know what's going on. So let's do the same thing. Let's um, put that down. And then, yes, we've got a France sticker. These were made for me by Beth from Beth Plans, who is here on YouTube. Go and give her a watch as well. She's amazing. And she's one of my very good friends as well. She's the sweetest girl you could ever meet. I love her so much. She deserves all the good things in life. Um, I normally put a car down, but the cars are not the right colour. Also, tell me, I want some Formula One car stickers. Um, so, like cartoony style, like this, but more a Formula One car. Let me know if you know of a shop that does do them. Um, I've got this little car sticker here, which I'm not sure where it came from. I think this will be the one that we're going to go with, actually. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything else jumping out at me, so let's just go with this. Um, and then if we pop that there, and I think that that marks the Formula One quite nicely. So last job that we've got to do then is our date dots. Let's see what we've got. I'm pretty sure that I've got some really yellow gold ones. They definitely need to be uh, um, gold, don't they? I don't think there's any other, any other way around it. What are the dates that we need? We need the 14th onwards they're not going to do uh, neither will they neither will they these ones will do so these are my trusty fire the fabulous ones I think I saw online that there was a restock of these if you are interested in them and I'm sure that I saw that there was going to be a couple of new colours as well I hope so I would like to add them to my collection so the 14th, look at my watch actually, it should be the 15th today, yeah, we're good. Um, 
if I do it over the headers, oh that will work, yeah I'm going to do it a little bit over the headers just to make them stand out a bit more. And the 20th is Sunday so yeah I am really happy with how this has turned out I just love this kit so much I know I've said it a thousand times but there's a reason why this is my favorite it's just gorgeous and I think you will agree that it's turned out beautifully let's have a look what I've got left then on these sticker sheets I do have quite a bit left um, I've got a couple of trackers uh, what are we calling these quarter boxes and checklists couple of boxes on there I've got this full sheet left I've got some more checklists on there some boxes a little bit of washi left some deco and then I've got my boxes on here so lots to be working with for the rest of the week but yeah that is going to be it from me for today it's just a quick note again about what I said at the beginning of the video about that comment I'm fine it's fine it's not a big deal but I wanted to be truthful about where I'd been I could have come on come on here and said oh I've been busy I didn't get to film but I thought no, I'll just be truthful because I'm absolutely fine. It's fine. I've shook it off. It, ups it did upset me because I felt like it was harsh. <laughs> but I've shook it off. But there might be other people who have had comments like that and it's really got to them. Just just don't let it get to you. you it's fine. Ignore the bad and just focus on the good people. And there are plenty of lovely good people on my channel. And I appreciate you all very much. And on that note, I am going. If you like this video, if you can give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I love you forever. And I'll see you soon. Bye.